Hi and welcome to Gen Yoga. This is the perfect yoga sequence to help you unwind after a day at work. We don't need anything for the practice unless you want to sit up on a little blanket or block. Let me know how you find it in the comments below, I'd really love to know and thanks again for being part of the Gen Yoga community. If you haven't already be sure to subscribe to my channel and let's get started! Starting in a comfortable seated position, you've got the option to lift your hips up onto a block or a blanket or a cushion if that feels good for you. We're aiming for a straight spine here, so crown of the head reaching tall, sit bones rooting down, palms resting wherever feels comfortable. Chances are if you've been working away today, your mind is probably whirring a little bit. So we'll take a couple of moments just to ground and settle. And to do that, we'll either close the eyes or soften the gaze and begin to deepen our breathing. So tuning into our bodies, noticing sensations that we might be feeling, maybe areas of tension or tightness. Keeping your attention on your breath here, so perhaps watching it as it travels in and down the body. And then following it as it leaves, as an exhale coming through your nose. Inhaling. And exhaling. We'll begin with some ujjayi breathing or yogic breath and that's when you Gently constrict your throat so that you get a soft ocean sound with your breathing. And it's said to be really calming and soothing for the nervous system, so perfect for a post-work practice. So just breathing in, just making your breath a little bit more audible, but maintaining it through the, through the nose so we're not breathing out of the mouth. Taking one more big deep ujjayi breath. And a full breath out. And from here you can keep the eyes closed if that feels nice for you. And we're just going to begin with some neck semicircles. So as you next exhale, just bring your chin down towards your chest. And then bring the left ear over the left shoulder. Inhaling. Exhale down through centre. Right ear over right shoulder. Exhaling down through center. Bringing your ear over, left ear over the left shoulder. Exhaling down through center. Right ear over right shoulder. Do one more just like that. Feeling the stretch across the side of the neck and perhaps into the upper back and shoulders. And then when we next come over to the left side, so left ear over the left shoulder, as we inhale, we'll just lift our head so that we're sort of sitting upright. As we exhale, we'll bring our ear right ear over the right shoulder and then chin down towards the chest. So we're coming in neck circles now, but we're not crunching in the back of the neck by leaning the head backwards. Do three in this direction. So we've got one more. And then we'll meet in centre. And take it the other way and see if you can notice the sort of subtleties of this and how your head suddenly feels weightless as you bring it up to upright doing one more going in this direction then we'll meet in center 
Crawl your left fingertips away from the body and bring your right palm to the outer edge of your right head, uh, left, left side of the head. <laughs> Gently begin to release the, the right ear towards the shoulder and feel the stretch all the way down the left hand side of the arm, the neck, down into the fingers. And you can crawl the fingertips away or lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling and this will just intensify the sensation that you're feeling. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. And then just change the position of the right hand so that it's close to the back of the head. Bring your chin down so that you're sort of gazing at your right knee here. And just notice how that tiny change just changes the sensation in the neck and the arm. And again, you can keep your fingertips pointing up or you can bring them down to the mat. Take a deep breath in. A full breath out. Inhale it back up through centre. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So crawling the right fingertips away from the body, left palm to the outer edge of the right head. Gently easing the left ear over the left shoulder and keeping the fingertips on the ground or lifting them up towards the ceiling, just feeling that stretch. Shoulder blades are down and back. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. And then just changing the position of the head so you're gazing down towards your left knee now. Notice how that changes the sensation in the neck and the fingertips, the arms. Perhaps bringing the fingertips down towards the ground here. Take a deep breath in. A full breath out. And inhale it back up through centre. Bringing the palms to heart centre will interlace the fingertips, taking the elbows wide. Exhale, push forward, arching through the spine as we begin to draw the shoulder blades away from one another. Inhale to reach up, palms face up towards the ceiling. Just take a little stretch, perhaps wiggling from side to side. And then exhale, round through the spine, bringing the chin to chest. Palms facing forward. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale curving through the back. One more time, inhale, reach up. And exhale, curling through the spine, shoulder blades away from one another, chin down towards the chest. Inhale, reach it up. And this time release the palms, cactusing the arms, they're out at a 90 degree bend, palms facing forward. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, wrap the right arm underneath the left, coming into your eagle arms. You can either have the backs of the hands together or the palms touching if that feels good. Then draw the elbows away from the body and up towards the ceiling and this will intensify the stretch in the back of the shoulder blades. Take three deep breaths here, really visualizing that space you're creating in the upper back. And coming back to the ujjayi breath, so kind of that gentle constriction in the back of the throat to help calm the nervous system and get rid of your working day so that you can have a restful evening. Inhale, we'll dip it back, lifting the chest up towards the sky. Exhale, arching the spine, bring the fingertips down towards the ground or out in front. Two more, just like that, inhaling. Reaching up, finding space along the front of the body. And exhale, arching the spine. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale. Inhale back to centre, release the arms back into the cactus shape, reach the fingertips up and then just take the arms wide reaching behind you and drawing the palms together so interlacing the hands at the base of the spine just opening up through the chest. Take a deep breath in, a full breath out and then release the palms, sweep the arms up and overhead and exhale to cactus the arms. This time we'll wrap the left arm underneath the right, coming into our eagle arms on the opposite side. So either backs of the hands touching or palms if that feels good. Draw the elbows away from the body and up towards the ceiling. Take three deep breaths into the back of the body here.
Then we'll inhale, reach up, dipping back, finding length in the front of the body. Exhale, begin to arch the spine, folding forward. Inhale, reaching up. And exhaling. Inhale, reaching up. And exhaling. Inhale, reaching up. Release the arms, reaching the fingertips up towards the sky. And then take the arms wide, interlacing the fingertips, the palms at the base of the spine, opening up through the chest here. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Releasing the palms. And if you're sitting on something, then this is when we'll remove that. So pop it to the side. And we're going to meet in a tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hip points. Draw the belly button to the spine, dome through the upper back. And then just begin to take small circles, really warming up through the wrists here. When you've done three in one direction, change direction. Noticing how it feels as the weight is spread across a different part of the wrist. From here, we'll just rock forwards and backwards a few times. And then we'll dip it back into a child's pose. So keeping the legs or the knees hip distance apart here. Inhale, begin to arch through the spine as though you're coming through a, a cat pose. And then begin to drop your hips down towards the mat. You may need to shuffle the legs a little bit, opening up into a cobra. Arching the spine as we dip back into a, a child's pose. And then rippling through the spine. And gently just lowering the hips, opening up through the chest. Do one more just like that. Pushing it back through a child's pose. And then rippling through the spine. Inhaling into your little back bend. And exhale, push it back through child's pose. Take two deep breaths here, really finding that space in the back of the shoulders. And at the end of your exhale, just look up in between your hands and raise yourself back into a tabletop position. From here, we'll kickstand the right leg so that it's parallel with the short edge of the mat. Transfer the weight into the right arm and straighten the left leg, planting the foot so that it's in line with your knee. Inhale, sweep the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, a full breath out. One more just like that. And exhaling. This time as you inhale, we'll lift the left leg so that it's um, parallel with the body and we're just waking up through the glute and the side waist here and you've got the option you can stay here for a couple of breaths or if you'd like to open up through the chest and get a little bit more of a back bend you can grab hold of the ankle and just begin to kick the foot away from you so keep the foot flexed the left foot is flexed you can begin to open up through the chest and I can feel it in my quad as well so you're sort of working the front body here take a deep breath in a full breath out Inhale, extending the leg and the arm back out. And then dropping the leg and meeting in a tabletop position. I had to make sure I wasn't going to hit the sofa then. We'll come through one round of cat-cow. So inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly, open up the heart. And exhale, arching the spine. From here, we'll dip it back into our child's pose. Take two deep breaths. Really feeling heavy and softening into the ground beneath you. And at the end of your second breath, just look up in between your hands, arching the spine. We're coming back to that sort of cat variation, then lowering the hips. So again, you may need to shuffle the knees a tiny bit on the first one, opening up through the chest. Exhale, pushing it back through your child's pose. And then rippling up through the spine. Dropping the hips, opening up through the chest, gazing forward. 
One more just like that. Pushing it back through your child's pose. Coming up through your cat pose. Dropping the hips, opening up through the heart space. And exhale, dip it back into a child's pose. Take another two deep breaths. Really softening. And finding space. Coming back into your tabletop position. Make sure your hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Kickstand the left leg so it's parallel with the short edge of your mat. Transfer the weight into the left hand, straighten through the right, and inhale, sweep the right fingertips up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in, a full breath out. One more just like that, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, lift the right leg so that it's you're in a straight line, keeping the foot flexed, and you've got the option. You can stay here, really working the glute and the side waist. Or if you want to open up through the back and the chest, grab hold of the ankle, keep the foot flexed, and kick it away from you. Feeling that stretch in the body. Your gaze can be wherever feels comfortable. Keep a soft bend in the stabilizing elbow to so the, the left hand. Take a deep breath in, a full breath out. And exhale to gently and with control, reach back out, extending the leg, extending the arm. And then we'll meet back in our tabletop position. Knees underneath the hip points, hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly, open up the heart space. And exhale, arch the spine, coming through your cat pose. Tuck the toes, crawl the fingertips forward a couple of inches, push your hips to heels and we'll meet in a downward facing dog. And just take a moment here to pedal out through the feet, working out any discomfort or tightness you might be feeling in the backs of the legs. Pressing through all five fingertips, really paying attention to put a bit of weight in the in ball joint of the index finger. Raise up onto your tiptoes and exhale, press the heels back towards the mat as you lift your tailbone a little bit higher, chest towards the upper thighs. And exhaling here. And then just really gently begin to crawl your fingertips back towards your toes. So we're meeting in a forward fold at the back of our mat here. You can grab hold of opposite elbows and just gently sway from side to side, releasing any tension you might be holding in your lower back and your hamstrings. Allow the head to be heavy, crown of the head down towards the mat. Shoulders are soft. Releasing the palms, we'll plant the right palm underneath the face, straighten through the left leg, bend deeply through the right as you sweep your left fingertips up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. At the end of your exhale, we'll swap and take it over to the other side. So left palm underneath the face, straightening the right leg as we bend through the left, sweeping the right fingertips up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in, a full breath out. And then exhale. At the end of your exhale, just releasing down, pressing through the feet, finding lift in the arches as you ground through the outer edges of the feet here, the ball joint of the big toe ball joint of the baby toe and the heels. And then just begin to roll yourself up to standing, bending through the legs, gathering the tailbone under, shoulders stacking above the pelvis, head on top of the shoulders. Roll through the shoulders when you get to standing and I'm just gonna move to the center of my mat. Feet about hip distance apart. We'll inhale, sweep the arms wide, reaching up and overhead. Exhale, drawing the arms, taking them wide, down beside your body. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. And exhale, palms down. One more time, inhale, reaching up. And exhale, take the arms down beside the body. Bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra or prayer position at your heart space. And just take a moment 
to stand in your mountain pose with your Anjali Mudra, feeling grounded, feeling settled and ready to move into your evening or the rest of your day with comfort, ease and feeling calm. Bring the base of the thumbs to the point between the eyebrows and then just gently bow your head down in honour of our practice together. So thank you for joining me for another Gen Yoga. Um, this one's a really great one to do if you've been spending a long period of time sitting or working at a desk. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. There's a new video every Friday and um, yeah, just welcome to the Gen Yoga community and thank you for being part of it. See you next week. Bye.